These curses are gonna fall out, people. You can't escape these curses. Understand? You got a question, sis? Shabbat Shalom. Sure. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Okay. How does your organization, uh, being brothers of the uh, Hebrew Israelite faith, am I correct? Oh, we're Israelite, we're not Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, Israelites. Israelites, yeah. okay. As, uh, as brothers of the Israelite faith, how do your brothers handle um, situations where Israelite men are walking off from their families and, and, and abandoning their children and wives? What, what we have been is reunited in Christ, we don't condone it at all. We the Bible tells we should teach our families, teach our kids. We we believe in unity, keep the families together. Get that So we don't condone that. So we're Israel United in Christ. We don't attach ourselves to all these different other groups out here. It's like That's right. We're, right. we're Israel United in Christ. We all have all these men you see here have families. We take care of our families. Understand? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Say it again. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Jump up. Let's start, start up at that. Uh, start start up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 1. All right, come on. Now these are the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your God to teach you. Okay, the commandments, come on. That ye might do them in the land whether ye go to possess it. Uh-huh. That ye might fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes, his we, commandments. We fear God by keeping his commandments, come on. Which I command thee. Uh-huh. Thou and thy sons and thy sons. Uh-huh. We teach our sons and our sons, come on. All the day thy life. And thy days may be prolonged. Hey, Israel in Christ, we teach our kids. We teach them diligently the following commandment. The commandment is a man must command his household. We must teach our kids. Understand? Come on, read. And when thou walkest by the way. And hey, read, read that part again. And, and the, teach what? And thou shalt teach them diligently. So, let's put it in context of what you're talking about. You're talking about Israelites that leave their children and their wives and kids. So the congregation, the elders of the congregation should be teaching those men, which are in this context, the children, the laws of God, okay? The laws of God says what? A man has to work and command his house and take care of his wife and his children, not leave them to fend for themselves. That's, that's of the devil. Right. It don't matter if that man is in an Israelite congregation or not, he's the damn devil. That's right. You understand that? Right. Read it again. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children. So, teach them to their children. Because if they teach them now, now they're going to know, I can't leave my wife. I can't leave my kids to fend for themselves. They need food. They need clothing. They need shelter. Okay? Go ahead. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. First Timothy 5 and 8. You know. Now listen to this, sis. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Have you dealt with that before? Something like that, like I've seen it. I've seen it numerous times uh, in the, um, I guess you could say, the Knesset that I attend. Um, I'm probably a 20 year old Hebrew Israelite. You've been in the faith about 20 years. So before okay. that, you know, I'm older than 20 now. So prior to yeah. that, I was a Christian. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, Baptist, to be Eight exact, yes, and uh, came over, Eight you know, to the Hebrew Israelite way of life because it made more sense to me yes, than what I had been taught. Christianity, so I had no problem with that. But um, yeah, I've seen it a number of times where right. Israelite men just basically, you know, it's almost like they lose their their bearing. Yes. And uh, yes. it's it's so easy for them to walk off and leave. Huh. They're they acting just like typical American typical beast. Typical niggas, correct? Yep. Typical niggas. Now, let me ask you a question. In the Israelite congregation that you are a part of. They did. Then that's a problem. Because guess what? Now the man who's in his lust can be like, nah, to hell with you, I'm not dealing with you. Right. I'm gonna go get me another wife. Right. In this land. In this land, in captivity. Right. That's garbage and a lie, sister. And that's that's right. right. That is and, false and doctrine. to be honest with you, you know, I'm intelligent enough to know better myself. You know, I was like, well, you can't even institute, institute in this land the laws the statutes and the commandments of the Most High to a T to make sure that the sisters okay. and children are protected. Give me Exodus 22 and 16. No. So oh. now let's see what the Bible says. We're going to read the Bible. Okay. 
So look, now, look. like you said, they, the, the man comes over here, he gets two wives, three wives, four wives, five wives. Ah, to hell with you, I'm not dealing with you no more. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna stick with these four over here. All right, I'm gonna leave you out. That's garbage system, because guess what? The man is supposed to now provide for all these women. Can you? Can a man do that in no captivity no. with his BS nine to five? No. Hell no. 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 You can't do it. Mm -hmm. But they have tricked you, sisters. They played on your on your your uh, uh, understanding, okay, and made you now accept that false doctrine. Read the book of Exodus, chapter twenty two, verse sixteen. So let's see the law. And if a man entice a maid, uh huh. That is not betrothed. So you was enticed, you was not betrothed, you're not promised to another man. And lie with her. And he lay, he lay with you. Do you also teach, does the Hebrew Israelite congregation that you go to also teach that when a man lies with a woman, that's automatically his wife? They, it, they do. That's false doctrine too. Mm -hmm. And they said, it, and then they said, you know, basically what you're saying, that that's not true either. So I don't think they, so they're quite careful. decided on how to deal with that. So they know it's false doctrine. They, they suspect that that might be wrong. Now, let's prove it wrong. Read it from the top again. The book of the, the book of Exodus 22 and 16. If a man entice a maid. He entice a maid, he's talking to her, he's dealing with her. That is not betrothed. Because she's not betrothed, she's not promised to another man. And lie with her. He lays with the man, and he, lays with the woman. He should surely. Whoa, whoa, read it slow and loud. He, he went, should surely. It says he shall. He shall, mm -hmm. not that they are already joined together, but he, he shall, shall what? Surely endow her to be his wife. So now you lay with the woman. Just... Now it says now you must make her your wife. Mm -hmm. Not that they're already married. Right. Now what's the next step? That's where their marriage papers come in. Did you have marriage papers? Okay, all praises. But that's what, guess what? That's, that's a marriage. He lays with the woman, now I got to do the right thing. I got to take the next step. Keep reading. If her father utterly refused to give her unto him, uh -huh. he shall pay money. He shall pay money. According to the dowry of virgin. So he got to pay for that. He got to pay for that if the father does not want to accept that man as the, wife, as, the, as the husband, as her Lord. Read. Corinthians chapter 7 verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. So to avoid sexual sin. Let every man have his own wife. You hear that, sister? Okay. Read it again. Read it that again. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid sexual sin, sexual lust. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Let every man. Every man. Have his own wife. Did it say wives? Their own wife. Is it not plural? Wives. Wife. Wives. Wife. Yeah, that sister. Mm -hmm, it said every man have his own wife, not not two, not three, not four, not five. Right. Now, give me Matthew's nineteen and nine. Eight. Okay, Exodus twenty-one and ten. Exodus. Yeah, twenty-one and ten. Exodus twenty-one and ten. Let's it's, go. It's really forward. beneficial for me to you for you to use the Old Testament. Okay. Because that is that's the portion of the Bible. We're the Hebrew Israelites that use that. So, so y'all don't believe. believe in Christ. There you go. Well, but see that. I, I learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. We, okay. I'm uh, we'll, we'll talk about that next. Read. Exodus chapter 21, verse 10. So now, y'all follow God's laws in that Israelite. What's your name? Can I ask you your name of your congregation? We're the House of Israel of Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. So we're going to expound on some things because that sister, they're teaching you falsely. You, know, you understand? Right. Read. If he take him another wife. So the Bible said, now we're, in, we're back in Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Look at Exodus. If that man takes another wife, her food, her food, her raiment, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, and her what? And her duty of marriage, her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish? Yeah, that sister. Mm -hmm. He can't diminish your duty of marriage. Okay, so you said that man left you. Mm -hmm. That's that he can't do that. Right. Uh, according to what? Did you commit fornication? No. Read on. And if he do not these three unto her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he still taking care of you? No. He said he's not providing you food, clothing, and shelter. No. Oh, and this is, he was a part of your congregation. Yes. Read it again. And if he do not, and if your husband do not, these three things, if he's doing not these three things, food, clothing, shelter, your raiment, unto her, then shall he go out 
Then, then shall she go out free without money. Then you shall go free without money. You understand that? He can't provide for you. You shall go out free. No Israelite ever want to read that right there. Right. They want to stick with, no, you got to be my wife. You can't leave me. The Bible says she shall go out free without money. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Now I'll go to Matthew 19 and 9. But just, this, let, me, let me share this with you. And no, I'll give share me this with my congregation. These laws are given to people who are sovereign. Okay. Sovereignty is something that is obtained by power. Uh -huh. Money is power. Money answereth all things according to that Absolutely. book right there. And I've shared that before with my congregation. Of course, you know, I'm not the most favorable female in my congregation because I talk too damn much. And I'm, I'm okay with that. You're but okay the, with that? I'm okay with that. But is God I'm okay, okay with that. I don't think he is because if I'm telling the truth, it should be acceptable. Okay. It should be acceptable. Yeah. But I just wanted to, you know, put that in. First Corinthians 7 and 10. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. And unto the Mary. I no, 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 I'm sorry. Go back to Matthew 19 and 9. I'm sorry. 19 and 9. Matthew chapter 19, verse 9. Read. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put his wife, put away his wife. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Except it be for fornication. He can't put you away except if it be for fornication. You committed a sexual sin according to Leviticus the 18th chapter. That's where the fornication laws are at. That's right. And shall marry another. And he what? And shall marry another. Wait, but I thought you could have multiple wives. It says if you put away your wife and marry another. Wait, that's that's the Bible's telling you. You cannot have multiple wives in this in this captivity. You can't do it. You ain't got no land, Negro. You ain't got no no animals. You're not a sovereign. You can't do it. You got a nine of five. You got to work for his daddies right there. You can't do it. Read it again. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put his wife, put away his wife, uh -huh. except it be for fornication, uh -huh. and shall marry another, and marry another, committeth adultery. You are in the midst of adultery. And a lot of Israelites, a lot of Israelites, Old Testament and New Testament are in the midst of adultery. That's right. Look, okay. The only problem with that is they don't give a damn. Well, guess what? John they three and care. eighteen. They I, I'm glad care. you said that because most people don't fear the Most High. Guess what, sis? Even those in those Israelite congregations, they're gonna die when Christ returns. That's right. Right. They're gonna die. They don't fear God. They don't fear Christ. They have no fear whatsoever. They want to use the scripture to manipulate and twist to 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 do what? to entice this, to, to go with this sexual lust. No, that's that's right. what we do. That's what Negroes do with the Bible. Read. John, he that believeth on him is not condemned. Read it again. He that believeth on him is not condemned. So your Israelite community in Jackson, Mississippi, mm -hmm. read it again. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Is not condemned. If you believe on Christ, you are not condemned. There is repentance for you. Okay, if you're an Old Testament Israelite, there's no repentance for you. That's right. Oh, you should be in Jerusalem trying to trying to get a un, uh, get a clean stone and and, and 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 get an atonement for your sin. You gotta find a man that knows he's a Levite and go to Jerusalem and there ain't no damn temple. You cannot be an Old Testament Israelite. You're gonna die. That's right. Read it again. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Is not condemned. But he that believeth not. He that, or she, sister, that believeth not on Christ. Is condemned. You hear that, sister? Mm -hmm. yeah. Already. You're, you're condemning yourself by not believing on Christ. You understand? You got to get the proper understanding of this Bible. Right. Read it again. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Uh-huh. But he that believeth not. It's condemned already. Read it, read on. Because he hath not believed in the, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Because you don't believe on Christ, you want to remain in that Old Testament. Okay, go ahead. And this is the condemnation. And what? And this is the condemnation. Now we're going to read the condemnation. That light is come into the world. That what came into the world? That light is come into the world. That light is God's laws through Jesus the Christ. Read. And men love darkness. And, oh, what does men love? Love darkness. Yeah, that sister. But we love our sin. 
We want to appease our sin. That's, That's right. why we're going to die. Read on. Rather than light. We rather stay in the sin rather than go into the light of God's laws. Do you understand that? John 14 and 6. Bring it out. Let's see what else Christ has to say about that. So Christ says, you don't believe on him, you condemning yourself. The only thing I have a problem with in reference to that is that I'm reading a book right now called The Twelve Saviors Before Yes, I've, I've heard of it, yeah. When you make those, when you read a book like that, yes. and you make those comparisons. Yes, I'll answer that in a minute. That's a good question. Because a lot of the Pan-African Egyptology Negroes And that's what I'm moving towards. You see, see that? See, really that's is. the problem. How did I already know that? Yeah, that's okay. Bring it out. It's not but, okay. But watch this. Because you're condemning Before yourself. Before I knew any of that, including you, uh -huh. the Creator blessed me to be here. Absolutely. So I'm on a journey. I'm okay. Okay, I'm, but I'm on a journey. You leave the not, laws not, of God. But I, I open myself up to knowledge, wisdom, and understanding no, at no, all no, no, times. No. You're opening yourself up to demonic things. That's, that Egyptology, Pan African, or oh, Haru, and Egypt, and all that, that's mm -hmm. trash. They have no laws, since there's nothing governing them. They have nothing. They actually historically had the same laws that you find in the Bible okay. preceding the Hold Bible. That. Hold that. Give me But, but not to argue. Not to no, argue. No, no. I, I want to prove you that. That's not true. Exodus 20 and 8. Bring Exodus out. chapter 20, verse 8. You're talking about the 42 negative laws of my ox. Right? Yes, yes. Let's read this law. I want you to show me where this law is, or when you go back, ask them where this law is. Okay. Remember the Sabbath day uh. to keep it holy. Uh. Six days shalt thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That's the Ten Commandments, sister. So, the in the Ten Commandments, the, a lot of the Egyptian Negroes like to say, oh, you took it from the 42 laws of Ma'at, which apply after they're dead. Hope you understand that. So, where is that law in Ma'at? It is not there. You just told me, sister. But what See is the, the significance of it? Wait, 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 wait. You made a statement, sis. Listen, just listen close. I did. You made a statement but saying, I admit it. we took the laws, a lot of these laws, and these laws come from the uh, Egyptian pan. We all have the Which same predate law. predate. Okay, so the, the where Bible is this? And the gods of the Bible. So where is this? But that one is not that, and you're right. So you sure, are you sure you believe in but the Bible? once again, well, I told you, well, I didn't tell you, but I'm stepping away from it. If I can't keep my family, uh -huh. if, if the God that I worship cannot hold together a good family, all honor roll students, uh -huh. a wife that's dedicated, uh -huh. So, what do I have? So you're, you're telling me what do I have? because your husband's walking out that you're going to leave the Bible. And I know I pray. So you're going to leave the Bible because of your husband. I just don't see the wisdom in state. That's weak as hell, sis. It is. That is weak Bring as hell. Bring it out. Most, it, mostly it everything out. we deal bridges. with is weak as hell. Say it I again. see all this trash around here on this ground and all these you. men here Say in this it. group. And the trash is on the ground and you all are responsible, very smart, forward thinking men. Uh -huh. That's error. So clean up here. So, Set a good so example. So, so wait, I mean, okay, hold on, sis. So you want us to come out here and clean up Esau's trash? You want me not to make mistakes in the midst of a horrible? Did you hear what I said? Though? Wait a minute. In the midst of a horrible, depressing situation, you uh -huh. don't want me to make mistakes and bad decisions. I didn't say you did. Right. But, but I'm, uh, what I said was, do you want us to clean up the trash here? Is I that, would. I would. Why? Well, why should the men of again, God if I want, come if out I, here and clean that up trash? Like, that's, 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 just, that's, just that's, listen to me. Yes. Just listen to me. Showing responsibility. You said you have children, right? Absolutely. This is an arena that you use, right? Let it represent you. Let people who you're trying to get to convert and come up in the world and do better than you. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. I've been in the military. So I've, done, I've, done, I've done places way larger than this. So you're here with us. And why are you not doing it? I don't have a thing. Bring it out. I don't, have a, to, I don't to, to have a bag. I don't have a bag. I would. I'm not. Be, I wouldn't have suggested that. Three. If I had a criticism Numbers. when I now, saw this, you all this, coming. This, this, this. Okay. Now, I want you to listen to me. Right. Numbers chapter 15. Because the issue with you, you're in the midst of sin. We Three. all are. Bring it out. First, what sin am I in? We all are. What sin, what sin am, am I in? You. Well, we're gonna read it. Okay. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. No. Speak unto the children of Israel. So you're the children of Israel. You agree? And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. What are fringes? What you all have on the 
realms of your Is that home. a commandment? That's a commandment. Read. Read it again. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes. Make them fringes. In the borders of their garments. Does your congregation wear fringes? They did. I so don't. So is it only in the church or outside of the church also? They do it everywhere. Those that are dedicated So why are you not doing that? that? I just was a rebel on that. So you're rebellious to the laws of God. Sure. That's why hell is going on in your house. That's right. 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 It might be. Speak unto the children of Israel. Uh huh. And so you can't be rebellious. You're probably, are you rebellious to your husband? No. Are you sure about that? Because I see you got a little mouth on you since you admitted I you do. got a mouth on I you. I do, but I have a brain in my head. So, so is that a yes or a no? That's a, uh, I'm not. Does your husband, does, do you think your husband agrees with you that you don't have a mouth? My husband and I don't agree. I want to uh, walk away from my see, children. You see that, sis? That might be. I'm not saying it is, but I'm you saying that might be the problem. Well. But I could tell I, by your, by you the way you're dialoguing with me. I'm, I'm not very you're, submissive, you're, no. No, give me, give me. Not for no, keep reading. Keep I'm reading. Not. But, you, but you're not doing but God's guess what? Laws. Guess what? That could be a Read. blessing. That could be and, a blessing. What's that? And, your rebellious mouth? Yeah, my, my rebellious mouth. No, your mouth. rebellious mouth If you're mouth about to walk off a bridge. And bid them. Just wait, sister. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. In the borders of your garment, sister, you know you're supposed to be wearing, wearing fringes. fringes as a Hebrew Israelite. Throughout their generations. So you're still generating, you generated children. They're supposed to be doing the same thing. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And that they put upon them. None. I'll say it again. They have none, sister. We have laws, statutes, and commandments that govern us. We know why we're in a situation the situation we're in. Egyptians have a rich history. I didn't say they don't. 27 to 28 dynasties. So are you, are you Egyptian? And, no, I'm not. So, no, I'm not, but I were, still. Were we the if slaves I in to Egypt? pattern myself after something, it would be something that would be accomplished. Uh huh. Something so that we're going to accomplish it? Something that would be humanistic and humane. Okay. okay. Can I ask you a question? But please show me. Can I show and, and I've been a Hebrew Israelite for the last 20 years. I ain't mad about the process. Okay. Uh, I think it has benefited me in certain ways. And, can, can I ask you, know, you a question now? Yeah. How is the Egyptian Negro? Gonna get us. How is knowing all this Egyptian stuff gonna get the crackhead off a of smoking crack? How can knowing, knowing your Hebrew is like do that? First of all, I well, think no, I no, no, no. I want you okay. to answer the question. Don't act, don't throw it back on me. I'm asking you. But I never told you that. I've new. never been. I've never so been presented me. with that, and I'm new in my teaching. So why would you ask me something that might be limited? Yeah, because to you answer told me you you have been in Israel for 20 years. I've been a. But you didn't. You asked me about being an Egyptologist. So I'm asking you. How can being an Egyptologist save me from being a crackhead if I'm on crack? I don't know. I don't think very much can. I think you need to be on. I think you need to be on meds if you're on something like crack. So we got to go and to white man science. I think you do. So, and, and get, so in other words, give us up to the white man and his institutions. That's trash, sister. It that might is be. trash. It might be. We got to come back to God's laws. No, oh, you're, in, you're, you're going I, into, I'm not mad about you're straying that. away, sister. You're straying away into other garbage, into garbage. Read. Amos chapter three, verse three. And, and you know what? This is a reason why you women, you have to be under a man of God. That's right. Not That's under right. no stupid Egyptology, not, not single, because if you're single, you're going off with some other man that you know on TV or the magazines and all that garbage. That's right. Okay? You got to be under a man of God. That's, that's, right. Right. that's it. Because your, your mind strays so far left. That's what's happening here, sister. Your mind is gone. Read. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Read. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Read it again. Can two walk together? Except they be agreed. So two cannot walk together. You cannot walk in that congregation. You cannot walk with certain people that you don't agree with. Oh, uh, Sirach 36. Sirach 36 and 24. Here, here you go. Sirach 36 and 24. Sirach chapter 36, verse 24. Right so out. this goes out to your husband right here. I hope he sees this video here. Read. <laughs> he that getteth a wife. So the Bible says the man that gets a wife. Okay, does what? Beginneth a possession. He begins a possession. That woman now belongs to that man. Okay? That man, that woman's possessions belong to that man. Read it again. He that getteth a wife. Uh-huh. Beginneth a possession. He that gets a wife begins a possession. Read. A help 
like unto himself. A what? A help. A help, meaning the woman is a help. Meet for him. Read. And a pillar of rest. A what? A pillar of rest. None of this. You're going to be running her mouth and all that? A pillar of rest. None of this. She's going to be like always uh, like come, coming back at you somehow? A pillar of rest. So she should be a pillar of rest. That's right. Oh, read on. Where there, where no hedge is. Now, the man leaves the woman and what? Where no hedge is. Where no hedge is. What's a hedge? Protection. Oh, where no protection is. There, there, the, there the possession is spoiled. Read that part again for the sister right here. Where no hedge is. Where no protection is. Now she's not under that man. So to guide her. There the possession is spoiled. There the possession. Sister, you're becoming spoiled in your understanding. That's right. And That's going right. into the 42 laws of my eye. Right. Oh, Egypt was so glorious. Look at all the gold. Look at Anubis. Right. Look at Thoth. Look at this one. Look at Seth. Oh, it's so good. Look at Ra, the sun Ra God and all of that. To hell with Egyptology. Yes, right. Right. You're an Egyptian. You're an Israelite according to the Bible, sister. Right. Right. Read it again. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession. Uh -huh. A help like unto himself. Uh -huh. And a pillar of rest. Uh -huh. Where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled. Go ahead. And he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. And the man that has no wife, well, not your husband, because he, he could go get another one according to y'all doctrine. You see y'all false doctrine. I could get another wife, so to hell with her. Just to hell with this. all my kids, I'm Just gonna go get another this. wife. Abraham had who? Sarah. Yes. And Sarah gave him Hagar. Yes. And after Sarah died, he had multiple wives. Yes. Jacob was a husband of many wives. You know you're telling me something already you know, right? So then why is that my doctrine? Why is that your doctrine? You're I didn't say it was the doctrine. the law of the Most High God. So, when you say, go back when to you Matthews speak, because there's multiple wives. I mean, I can so, say that. So, so and, now and you can't have this, more. And just remember this uh -huh. now. I'm honest enough to tell you that yes. we don't utilize the New Testament. I'm honest enough yes. to tell you that. And once again, I'm walking away pretty much from these teachings. Okay. But I do know them. Go to Matthews 19. Now listen to this. Furthermore. Matthew. You got furthermore. Something. Yes, furthermore. I don't have an association with the New Testament. I just want you to Go understand ahead. that, but I don't mind you reading it to me. Uh -huh. But I pretty much don't have, that's a book of confusion in my personal You know opinion. why? No, nope, it's not because I don't know it though. It's not because okay, I don't know it, because I was a, I was a Christian said. almost 30 years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and that's our problem. It's crazy. When we were brought, every last one of us sisters was brought up in Christianity. You know this, we're all brought up in Christianity. And Christianity has confused the hell out of us. Well, we don't understand certain things. We don't understand Christ. We don't understand Paul. We think Paul said we could commit sin and certain sins, right? Hold on. Now, here's how you get understanding. Let's see what the Old Testament says. How do you get understanding of the Bible? You believe in the Old Testament, right? Right, sis? So now let's read the Old Testament. Read. Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I'm sure you heard this before, sister. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding. A, a what? A good understanding. Have what? Have all they that do his commandments. Read that part again for the sister. A how, good. How do you get understanding of the Old Testament and New Testament? A good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments. Hear that, sister? Mm -hmm. So, you have to be doing God's commandments and you don't have your fringes on. I don't know what else you're doing, but I can only judge by the physical. You're not doing God's commandments. You're rebellious. Ezekiel 2 and 3. Ezekiel 2 and 3. So, what we're telling you, sis, come back to the laws of the Most High God. Yes. Faith in Christ. Read. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, uh -huh. I send thee to the to the children of Israel. So we're sent to the Israelites. You know you're an Israelite. To a rebellious nation. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What does the Old Testament say about the Israelites? To a rebellious nation. No, no, no. They they, they, they just good. They, they hear the word and they're going to do it. To a rebellious nation. So you're being rebellious, sister. And you got to come yeah, back. Yeah, because I'm not wearing my fringes, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And furthermore, everything you don't know, right? I didn't say but that. But what about did I not I just say I about? don't? I can only judge. Did I not say I can only judge by the phys by the physical? Yeah, you did, you did, sister. but that's why you're putting your Read emphasis in. And, and, also, and he said unto me, uh -huh. Son of man, uh -huh. I send thee to the children of Israel, 
to a rebellious nation. You're a rebellious sister, sister. I am. Oh, I am glad you know I that. Am. We don't. That has rebelled against me. You rebelled I'm against not God. Lying. You're not rebelling against I'm not a liar. So Credit says he hate a He said he hate a long so liar. So why don't you keep God's word? I didn't see any motivation to do so. See that? You going off, sister. I might be. Read it again. So what are you going to do about it? So are you going to judge me for the most high God? He's the one that's giving me breath right now. What's judging? Before you. What, is, what is judging? What is judging? Determining whatever you determine that I am or that I am not. Give me John 7, 24. In your mind. Bring no, no, no. Give me, give me um, Deuteronomy. Let's stay in the Old Testament. Please do. Let's go to Deuteronomy 1 and 13. Bring it out. Let's see what the Most High God, not, let, let's see what the Most High God said for the Israelite men to do. 1 and 13. Is that it? Take it off. 15. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Start at 13. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 13. Now let's, let's see what the Old Testament says, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Take you wise men uh -huh. and understanding. Uh -huh. We have understanding by keeping God's laws. That's how we know we have understanding. Right. Good. And known among your tribes. Uh -huh. And I will make them rulers over you. And we're rulers over our people. They don't even know who the hell they are. Read. And ye answered me and said, the thing that the the thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. Go ahead. So I took the chief of your tribes, uh -huh. wise men, uh -huh. and know, uh -huh. and made them heads over you, captains over thousands. Captains over thousands, that's that. Being a captain is biblical. And captains over hundreds. Go ahead. And captains over fifties. Go ahead. And captains over tens. Uh huh. And officers among your tribes. Officers, that's biblical. Go ahead. And I charge your judges. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Read it slow. Read this what? And I charge your judges. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your what? Your judges. So we can judge you, sister. That's we are right. judging you according Prove. to God's law. And if I'm one of the most highest children, I can do the same. Prove it. What do you want to judge us I just said I was in Israel. Read it again. And I charge your judges. So you're going to judge me while judge you're in the midst of sin? I judge my husband. You're going to judge I your husband. I judge my husband. But you're in the midst of sin, sister. I'm not in the midst of sin if I was did, keeping did the... Did we read you the... Wait a minute. Except for the fringes, but I admitted that. Did we read you the law that, 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 that you're not keeping? Yeah, just about the read fringes. On. Read it again. See, that's the problem with them other Israelite congregants that, that don't believe in Christ. Y'all, 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 y'all understand it is off as Brother, hell. Brother, I tell you're you, you're being rebellious, I sister. I think I really, I Read really and truly think and you're I not taking into your consideration judges. the fact that I told you I'm an individual. See it, that? And you've been an Israelite twenty an years. You ain't been keeping no law, sister. Read. It's fine. And I charge your judges. That's the problem judges. with these Israelite congregations right here. They are individual lights. And you are just well, an individual you all, light. And you all make sure that um, you, you be an individual you as well. Understand you understand that? So you can ask questions. You can't ask uh, questions. Yeah, no, and we can't. can answer the but questions. You, better, if, you if you ask disagree, the question. If you disagree, you're yeah. going to get yelled at. Am I yelling if, at you? As if who that hurts. I'm, I'm talking so everybody can hear who the dialogue, hurt? sister. It doesn't hurt See, anybody. you're out of order, And you make sister. no progress. Sister, yeah, we make you it. Make no Israel progress. United Christ is not making me. progress. We're making progress. We're not, not making progress Because I came and asked you a specific you're rebellious. question. rebellious. But you know what? You Wait. all hate women too. Zephaniah, chapter 2. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We hate women? Yeah. Who's here? Who here is married? Raise your hand. As a matter of fact. Who here is married? Raise your hand. As a matter of fact, I have That's seen you all on the internet. Sister. Been That's evil surmising, sister. Disrespect. Evil surmising. It's just like Read. you're doing me as a Zephaniah, guest. Zephaniah, chapter you. two, verse one. Gather yourselves together. No, be an individual. Oh, nation, not Gather desire. Gather yourselves together. <laughs> no, be an individual like the sister says. Gather yourselves together. No, go off like the sister's going off. Gather like the yourselves are going off. together. Forget. To Yay, gather together. O nation, not desire. O nation, not desire. James 1 and 8. Because you know what you are, sister? Rebellion. You're double-minded, too. I am. I am. James you know why? Welcome to the Because you ain't got world. no hedge. You ain't got no I hedge. I had one. James. Well, no, I didn't. Yeah. Chapter 1, no, verse married. 8. Read this. Listen to this, sister. A double-minded man. A what? A double-minded man. Back to woman that back book. Is unstable. Unstable when you ain't got no damn hedge. That's I'm right. going to ask you a question. Go ahead, sister. Who is the, where is the printing press for that book? Where's the printing now press? I'm going look back the, to my Egyptology. Look, at, look in the front of the Where's book. Where's the printing press? Yeah. She oh, said, I'm going back to my James. Egyptology. Oh, white man named King James. So oh, King James is a white man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, right. maybe he's a black man. But huh? I know this, he was a homosexual. You know how you sound, you sound like a white man. Hey, 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 you sound like a white man. 
like a damn I'm white man. I'm in his land. So let me ask so, you a question. So punish me. Let me ask you a question. But why don't can I, I have a land question? that I can go to that Can you I ask you a question? Where's your land? Can I, How much land do you have? Can I ask you a question? How much land does the your Bible says we're in captivity. Huh? The Bible says we're in captivity. So you don't land have no land. So you don't believe in the Bible. Land you do power. not believe. I told you I didn't. What you else is You don't believe. New? So why are you I'm standing here in front of us? I'm fine with that. You don't have no. You have nothing to stand on. I came but because Egyptology you garbage. Rich. I came because I was invited. Get, and I asked a specific again. question. Jesus, but no. the one verse did you get your answer? Yeah, I did. Read. A so double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now let me ask you a question. You said King James was a white man, right? Mm -hmm. Who told you that? I've heard he was a black man too. So why did you pick the white so man over the black man? It? So which one is it? I'm asking you a question. You made a statement. I don't know. So now I you had don't to change know. that because I had You're to remember. You're full of confusion, sister. I am, yeah. but I admitted that. That's why you need to. So, but you mad at me because I'm confused. This is sister. That's why You're you should angry be quiet. At me. I'm not angry. That's why you if should. If I was quiet, you wouldn't even quiet. know I was confused. Shh. Read it again. Because King James was not a white man. Teach me. Just Teach as me. Christ was not a white man. Who painted Teach Jesus me. Christ white? The white Where man. Is That's the so what did they do book? the same thing in the Renaissance Where? ever with King James? Yes, he was a black man, sister. With all due respect, where's the print Read. press for this? James, book? chapter the one, the the verse eight. Go to the front of the book. <clears throat> the original Bible. Where's the, the print press book? for it? Huh? Because we know that these are versions. So you're saying this is the King, this James, is King James version? Version. Yes, that's correct. So where is the printing press for the original? Where's God's printing press? I, I, does he have one? Yeah, thank you. Does he, he have doesn't. one? He doesn't. So let me ask you a question now. Know this Can stuff I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? So the Bible's man-made. So let me ask you a question. Who carved on the walls? Which what's the name of the Egyptian that carved on the walls in, in Seti's I don't know, but you know what? It's still no, no, there. No, 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 no. Answer it's the question. There. And, there, Answer and the those question. are not versions. Answer the question. Those are not versions. Answer Just the question. That. Those are original. So who printed the Dead Sea Scrolls? Those are who original. Uh, writings. I guess we don't know. So who printed them? I don't know, but I do know this. So exactly, That's a you version. don't know. So and it has quiet. been changed Give me first and Timothy tampered 20 with 11. and yeah. transliterated yeah. and, and translated. Because don't get you, mad you at need me. to be quiet. Don't get you mad at me. You need to be quiet. I will sister. be quiet. I'll you don't know what you're thing. talking about. You ain't got no hedge. You come over here with confusion. Now you're in Egyptology. You're, no, your foolishness. I am. Right. I am, but you won't admit yours. You know why you're foolish? You because you ain't keeping God's laws. Right. Right. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again for the, the rebellious <laughs> sister. Let the woman no, right there. learn. Our women, they, they love that Egyptology. Look, that's right. Where well, you got these simp ass Negroes telling the black woman, oh, you're God. Right. Oh, you're a queen. That's oh, you're Queen cool. Mother Earth. Garbage. That's that's right. Garbage on top of garbage. That's why your, your, your queen, Erica Badu, now she's doing videos butt naked with blood all over her and semen coming out of her mouth. Right. That's what she's doing now. She's into that Egyptology to garbage that. too. Right. I have to hear that. That's what you, that's what you, our women are doing with that trash, that's love that money. trash doctrine. I no, that. that's Bring called on. Egyptology. That's that's when you got a bunch of simp niggas and single women that's in that garbage. Read it again. Yeah. First Timothy chapter two verse eleven. No more black men uh, Let the woman, woman learn in silence. So all you Egyptology sisters, shut the hell up. Let's do that. Be quiet. That's what God says. That's gonna fix Be everything, quiet. isn't it? Yeah, in your life, yes. In your life, yes. That's why your husband Just probably be... left you okay. behind. I'll be because quiet. you was running that damn mouth, thinking you know everything. Mm -hmm. That's right. Read it if again. You believe so. Let the woman learn in silence. Read. With all subjection. With what? With all subjection. No, let her run her mouth. With all subjection. No, let her run her mouth. All subjection. Now read this. First Ezra 4 and 22. First. 20, what is that? 26. 26. First so now, Ezra. Let's hear about them simps that's teaching you Egyptology. Read. Chapter 4, verse 26. Yay. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Guess what, sister? 
All that Egyptology Negroes is doing is trying to crack between your legs. There's trying to point. tell you, oh, you're a queen mother earth. Oh, you the, the goddess of civilization. Right. Right. God. They're telling you what you want to hear, sister. The men of God ain't out here to do that. Right. Right. They're the ones that, the men, the one, they right. be quiet there. And become servants. You got, yeah, exactly. The men in that Egyptology Kemet the garbage, Bible teaches they're so woman to be so so sweet. sweet. Read. Really? And become servants for their sake. And them Egyptology Negroes are what? Become servants for their sakes. Yeah, that, they're servants for you now, sisters, trying to get between your damn legs. Questions. And our Wouldn't sisters love it so. This? They love hearing that they were gods and queens and their mother earth yeah. and their this and their that. No, 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 have erred and sinned for women. One more time for the system. Many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women. The Bible says many. I asked you about me. Many have me perished about women. I and to know erred. Women. The Negroes are in error. That's the right. black man in America has been raised by his mama and has been raised to cater to his mama. He's been raised to cater to his mother, his aunts, his grandmother, his girl cousin. They could do no wrong. So you can't correct them. They, they know too much. America's giving them a mouth where they could run their mouth against the damn man. That is fact. Read it again. Yay! Many there be that have run out of their wits for women and Read. become- A lot of black men are in jail for some dumb woman. Right. A lot of black men are in jail for that thing, right there, okay? They either couldn't control their emotions and put their hand on a woman, or some other nonsense. Or another man, he let his woman go walk down the street with her behind out, another man, and, and he, another man get into it with, his, with another man, over some woman. Read it again. Yay, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Read. And have become servants. And have become what? Servants. And become what? Servants. Read. For their sake. Now, the black man has been raised to be a servant to the damn woman. That's, That's right. right. That's out of order. Read. Many also have perished. Many what? Many also have perished. How many black men have died because of some damn woman? Another brother shot another brother for some woman. Read. Have erred. Have what? Have erred. How many black men are in error because of some woman? Read. And sin. And how many black men are in the midst of sin because of some woman? For women. Now, give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 6. Let's go a little further with this. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. For a man indeed. Ought not to cover his head. Go ahead. For as much as he is the image and glory of God. So the black man is the image and glory of the Most High God. That's, right. Right. That's what the Bible just said. Read that part again. I made me feel good. Read it again. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. Uh -huh. For as much as he is the image and glory of God. Read that, you hear that brother? You're the image of God, so your head should be uncovered when these scriptures are coming out. Right. Or you're in the midst of sin. Because you are the image of God. See that? We read that Israel is rebellious, man. That's right. They don't want to do what God says. Then they wonder why they're in these situations. That's right. Read it again for the brother. For a man indeed. Listen, we ain't out here to make you feel good, talk good and sweet and soft to you. We're out here to give you God's word and that's it. That's, that's right. right. We're out here to give you God's laws. That's it. Read it again. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image and glory of God, uh -huh. but the woman is the glory of the man. Oh, well, read that part again for the sister. But the woman is the glory of the man. One more time, one more time, one more time. But the woman is the glory of the man. So the That's woman right. is the glory of man. We are the glory of God. That's right. All praise to the most high. Read on, there's more. 
For the man is not of the woman. Come on, read it again for the Egyptology fools. For the man is not of the woman. Read it again for the comedic scholars. For the man is not of the woman. Yeah, that the man, you ain't come from no woman. The woman was the vessel, but she was not the vessel until the man planted the seed in that woman. That's right. Read for, it again. For the man is not of the woman. Uh-huh. But the woman of the man. Oh, well, read that again. Read it again for the Egyptology uh, scholars. Go ahead. For the man is not of the woman, uh -huh. but the woman of the man. Because Adam came first and Eve came out of Adam's rib. Read. Neither was man created for the woman. Whoa, whoa, read that part again, brother. Neither was man created for the woman. Read it one more time for the sister. I can see her. She got the, you got the devil on you, that's sister. Right. That's what it is. You got the devil on you. Baby, this way, I mean, she got the devil just, on it. She's getting you mad got your ass out. up in here with She's it. getting oh. mad. Yo, her spirit is twisting and turning on inside of her right yes, now. Yes, it is. Man. I know, because you got the damn devil and on I hope this brother you. Right you do not agree with the Bible. Read it again. Neither was the man created for the woman? So we was not created for you, sister. But the woman for the man. But you was created for a man. Shalom, this. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.